Now, in this lecture, we are going to take a deeper look into Context API. We are going to see how to use the consumer in the Context API and how to use it. Until now, we have been creating components in the single file. Now, let me show you how you can create your components in a dedicated file and work with Context API. So, inside this Context folder, I'm going to create my different dedicated files for the components. So, I'm going to first create my main parent file or you can say my main parent component. I'm going to name it main app dot js if you want you can name it anything that's upon you here i'm going to create a functional component so i'm going to say here react functional component like this and just out of that let me import this in my main file here let me just get it of it and specify here main app save this file back to my main app let me close these files and now inside this main app i'm going to first create a variable here at the top here i'm going to say constant user is equal to and inside an object i'm going to specify name of the user i'm going to specify here tuition and specify logged in key which is true now this is going to be the username and this is the login status right now the login status is true means this is the successful login user just for that inside this return statement i'm going to create a provider as you know this is my parent component inside the parent we are going to add the provider so we can provide a value to the child component before I add provider i need to create a store to create a context api i'm going to create a dedicated file for the store inside this context i'm going to create a new file and name it store.js and just out of that here i'm going to simply say here import react from react i'm going to say here constant user context is equal to and then i'm going to say here react create context or you can just import this create context at the top right here like this create context just out of that to this create context right now i'm not going to pass anything just out of that here i'm going to say constant user provider is equal to and then i'm going to say here user context dot provider i'm going to just specify provider to this variable and i'm going to do the same for the consumer just on here i'm going to say constant user consumer is equal to user context dot consumer like this so if i want to access the provider i can use this user provider and if i want to access the consumer i can use this user consumer variable now just like that don't forget to export these variables because we need to use it in other javascript files so at the bottom i'm going to say here export default and specify here user context now this is the default export from this file so in other file if you just simply add import with user context it will return this variable just for that i need to export both these variables as well so i can use it in my other javascript files so i'm going to say here exports constant user provider and i'm going to add here export keyword like this so now i can use all these three variables in my other javascript files let me save this file back to my main app and at the top here i'm going to say import inside my parent component i need a provider to provide this value to my child component so i'm going to just see here user provider and in the single quote i'm going to specify dot forward slash and specify my store file path when i execute my program i'm going to get an error message to access this user provider i need to wrap this user provider inside the curly braces like this now this is the valid import statement now just after that let me get rid of this division tag use your user provider close this and inside this user provider i'm going to add my child component i'm going to name my child component home page now you're free to choose any name to your child component that's upon you i'm going to choose home page name to my child component so i'm going to wrap that child component inside this user provider just for that i'm going to specify value here value is going to be this user so i'm going to just initialize this context with this user variable so i can access this user variable in any home page child components now as you know i don't have this home page let me just create it as i said i'm going to create a dedicated file for all my components so i'm going to create a new file 
and say here home page dot js let me create here a class component i'm going to say here yeah class component let me just copy this home page back to my main app and don't forget to import this home page just like this home page from home page file just after that back to your home page this is your parent component and this is your child component inside this child component i'm going to access my context api so i'm going to open my home page and as you know to initialize the context property we have two different methods i'm going to just initialize this inside this class so i'm going to say here static context type is equal to and then i'm going to pass this user context this one so in the home page at the top here i'm going to say import user context from and in the single code here i'm going to specify my store like this so i'm going to just access this user context variable from this file as you can see i don't have to wrap this variable inside the curly braces because this is the default export so i'm going to back to my home page and specify this user context to this context type so this will just initialize context property of this class component just after that when the component is mounted i'm going to just print this user value so inside my home page here i'm going to add a hook called component did mount and inside this component did mount i'm going to say here constant user is equal to this dot context as you know this statement will initialize this context property of this component i'm going to store that in this variable and i'm going to just console it so i'm going to say here console.log and say here user just like this and just down here i'm going to simply say locked in successfully save this file and try to execute it when i back to my browser as you can see i'm going to have here logged in successfully message and inside my console i'm going to get my context api value now i can access this value inside my render as well so here i can say in the kind of braces i can just simply say here this dot context dot name save this file tuition is logged in successfully now you know that how to access the context in your class component i want to use consumer to access the context value when you use consumer you don't need to initialize the context property instead you can just use the consumer component let me get it of this statement let me just add here a comment to this statement and get it of this component did mount like this and what i'm going to do is instead of this user context i'm going to import user consumer as you can see here i have here user consumer i'm going to import that in my home page so get it of this user context and inside this curly braces i'm going to say user consumer as you know this is not a default export so i'm going to wrap it inside this curly braces just out of that inside this render i can just simply use this user consumer component let me just get rid of this statement and add here user consumer my component like this inside this component i can access my context value to access the context value the consumer requires the child function to consume the value so inside this user consumer you have to add a child component so inside this cutler braces i'm going to just simply add a function or you can say a child component just like this this is what we call a child function and to this child function i'm going to pass here property i'm going to say here props and using this props i can access my context value so inside this function i'm going to say console.log and print this prop first and then i'm going to say here return div and inside this div in the curly braces i'm going to say props dot name logged in successfully let me save the changes as you can see when i reload the browser you can see inside my console i'm going to have my context api and in the ui i'm going to get tuition logged in successfully that's super easy right to access the value of your context you don't need to initialize your context property with this statement instead you just have to import the user consumer and inside that user consumer component you have to call a child function this child function takes the parameter property and this property have the context value practice with this code to understand this whole concept so this is how you can use consumer in the react context api
Next, I'm going to show you how you can update the context value. 